Good morning, one and all. This morning's devotion is going to be about love and honor. Now, let me speak about the two words, love and honor, throughout the Bible. We will see that they're usually spoken about together, usually coincide. So one is you technically not seen without the other. Okay? As part of our religion, as Christians, the basis of our way of life is to love. Now, we have different types of love. So we have romantic love. We have brotherly love. We have unconditional love, God's unconditional love for us, and we have love for ourselves. So when you hear the word love, the Lord love means to have a deep affection or intense feeling for someone or something. So it needs to come from the heart. Now as Christians, when we show love, we need this love to be genuine. We need it to be sincere. It needs to come from the heart. It's okay to do things outwardly. To show the world that we're Christians and we're doing it, yes. But remember that God knows your heart. And ultimately, he can see if you are doing it for outward praises or if you're doing it to show love to him and to your neighbors. So the first Bible verse, well, the only Bible verse that I'm going to talk about that everybody should know is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. And the two verses that really stuck out to me will be verse 4. And then verse 8, right? So I'm going to read those two separately. So the verse is, the chapter is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up. So I like the fact that the King James Version uses the word charity. I think this gives a clearer picture as to how we're supposed to show love. It's an act of charity. So we're not doing any we're not doing it, sorry, to gain anything in return. It is about being selfless. Showing love should be sincere, should be genuine, and it should be selfless. Okay? So the newer version would say love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it does not boast, and is not proud. And what I like about the last verse is it says, Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall not vanish. So all of these things could come. But if the love is true, and if the love is genuine, it will remain. It will not fail. So the word honor. So when we talk about honor, honor is to, for me personally, when I hear the word honor, the first things that come to mind are value and respect. When you honor something, you respect it or you treat it with something of value. When you love something, you cherish it. When you honor something, you respect it. Okay? So God wants us to respect ourselves. He wants us to respect others. He wants us to respect authority. And he wants us to respect him. Ultimately. And when we perform acts of love and honor, we are ideally supposed to mimic the love and honor that God has for us. Because remember, as Christians, we're supposed to be Christ-like. So we should be a mirror image of the love and honor that he shows us. So our Bible verse for honor will be 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8. And I think that this is a simple instruction. Finally, be ye of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Not rendering evil for evil or really for really, but contrary ways, blessing. Knowing that ye are there unto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. So as I said earlier, we are not doing things to get something in return. We are not doing it for the praises of mankind. We are doing it to show love and honor unto ourselves and unto God. And when we do this, we will be rewarded, yes, we we will be rewarded, yes. <laughs> but it's not to go out there and do it just for this reward. Because then it becomes a duty. You're not doing it from the heart. It's a duty. So as I said, the love and honor, it needs to be sincere. It needs to be genuine. It needs to come from the heart. So just to recap, our Bible verses were 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. And 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 8 so when we speak about love and honor you're speaking about cherishing things valuing things respecting things understanding that our life as christians is to mimic the love 
and the respect that God has for us. We are supposed to be Christ-like. We are not doing it for outwardly praises. We are doing it as a ministry unto God. Nor in the Bible did it say it's going to be easy, but we need to try. Okay, God wants us to try. So here's my devotion. I hope you understand and implement it into your life. The end. Thank <laughs> you.